hello friends so in this video i am going to be talking about how you can set up a network wide ad blocking policy on your network so for that what you will need is a, a raspberry pi and which is connected to your local network and we will be using pyhole it is an open source project which is which uses dns service to block all the ad ads and the uh, and the websites that host ads on different sites so the setting up process of pyhole on your raspberry pi is really simple and what you need to do is first go to raspberry pi dot org and download the most stripped down version of Raspbian. So I downloaded Raspbian Lite because there we won't be using the GUI version GUI of the Raspbian. So that's why we will need Lite version of Raspbian. After that download Etcher which is an other free software to which you can use to write Raspbian on your micro SD card for their search etcher and you can download it from velina.io slash etcher after that just use this program to write your Raspbian image to your SD card and plug it into your Raspberry Pi and power it up so you can use your router to see which ip address has been assigned to the raspberry pi and then uh, connect to the raspberry pi using ssh so here is my raspberry pi So I am into a Raspberry Pi. What you need to do afterwards is run this command. And if in some cases that doesn't work, what you can do is get a just clone the repository over here on your local um, on your Raspberry raspbian system and just run the bash dot basic install dot uh, ss script and it will automatically install the uh, raspbian uh, automatically install the pi hole on your raspberry pi i have already installed this uh, pi hole on my system so i don't I will just reconfigure it so you can see what to do so it is going to do all the basic checks like if the machine packages are up to date and everything related to that so I'm going to pause the video until that completes and we'll be back after uh, the installer has finished what you need to do is go to the ip of your raspberry pi in your browser and you will see something like this and after the setup installation process finishes it will give you the login id and login password in the end uh, of the installation so just keep it uh, noted down because you won't be able to log into the pyhole dashboard without the password so as you can see i have installed my pyhole for quite some time and here you can see the total number of clients that are connected to my pyhole and how many number of queries they have sent out to the internet and how many queries are blocked 
and these are all ads which are on the network so here you can see a very brief break, broken down detail about which domains were permitted and which domains were blocked with the ads as you can see that the google adsense was blocked and but uh, the advantage of uh, pyhole running pyhole on your network is that it will also block in-app advertisements that are running inside the apps like you have free games and there they show ads uh, after uh, you have died or some time so they get they get they also get blocked due to the pyhole so after the installation what you need to do is if you want to configure this on your whole network just log into your router and after logging in So after you have logged in go to your DHCP settings and in your DHCP settings set your primary DNS to the IP address of your pyhole. So when you do that it will automatically change the DNS server for all the clients connected to your network and all the traffic will go, uh, go to pyhole and then the internet. So it will automatically block the uh, URL that were that are uh, that are containing ads and what this will do for you is uh, it will block ads and it will also improve your internet performance like th there is no extra load that is being loaded uh, onto your browser like the ads and all the other things so this uh, this also boost up your performance so this this is it how you can set up pyhole on your raspberry pi and use it as a network wide ad blocker service so if you don't want to implement this on your whole network what you can do is go to uh, set up this individually on your uh, different um, computers with all the computers you have to do it manually so what you need to do go is go to your network and sharing center and change the adapter settings and in the properties go to your internet protocol uh, for properties and you you can set this up over here uh, manually the dsp server so the IP will be of your Raspberry Pi and this is it that that's how you can set set up the Pi hole configuration on ev in every computer in your network manually uh, rather than doing it in the uh, router settings but I prefer it in the router settings so I don't have to do it on every computer in my home so that's it that's how you can do it so if you like the video do subscribe like and share the video so others that have raspberry pi lying around their home can utilize it as an ad blocker and you don't need to uh, do anything else so that's it so i hope you enjoyed it and thanks for watching